Hello everybody, I am Ramchandra Bhatt. Welcome to the world of Neural Pruning. Today let us discuss about basic things of chemistry. What do you mean by chemistry? Why you have to study chemistry? It's very very important thing. Chemistry is the branch of science which deals with the study of nature and composition of matter. Why you have to study chemistry? Chemistry is very important branch. Since morning till night, we are using various materials of chemistry which are very very important and part and parcel of our life. The food you eat, the cloth you wear, the house where you live, the furnitures what you are using, all are boons of chemistry. Not only that much, the colors, the dyes, soaps and detergents, the medicines, all these are boons of chemistry only. That's why we have to learn chemistry in detail. What do you mean by an atom? The term atom means atom you, which indicates atom is not broken into further simpler particle. That means atom is the smallest particle. According to Democritus, atom is indivisible. The smallest particle of an element is called an atom. This atom can exist independently or dependently. For example, the atoms of metals like iron, gold, silver, platinum, copper and so on, they exist independently. That means single atom exists and also take part in the chemical reaction. While the atoms of hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, these atoms do not exist independently. Always they exist along with other atoms that is O2, H2, N2 and so on. These atoms can react with each other and form many kind of matters. Then what do you mean by molecule? Molecules are the clusters of atoms. That means atoms combine to form molecules. Molecules may be homoatomic means made up of only one kind of atoms. That is they are the atoms of same element. The atoms combined with different elements atom they form heteroatomic molecules. For example water. Here two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen combine to form heteroatomic molecule water. Hydrogen, which is a gas, when it combines with one more friend, oxygen, it will produce water molecule. Remember, we should balance the equation according to the law of conservation of mass must neither be created nor be destroyed. Hence, we have to balance the equation. Two atoms of hydrogen are towards the product side and reactant side also two atoms of hydrogen are there. So they were balanced. Now oxygen, two atoms are there towards the right side only one atom is present. So you have to balance by writing two as a numerical coefficient. Then number of hydrogen is doubled to two are four. So you have to write two in the reactant side. This is the symbolic representation of chemical reaction takes place when hydrogen two molecules combines with one molecule of oxygen to produce two molecules of water. Now you are very curious about chemistry. Let me ask a question. After studying the formation of water, you should be able to answer to this question. Fill a balloon with water. Let us say 2 liters of water filled in a balloon. Now make a small hole with the help of a pin. What you are observing? Yes, thin stream of water is coming out. Now bring a charged substance near to this stream. 
what will you observe and why try this one the compounds compounds are the substances made up of more than two elements for example water sulfuric acid carbon disulfide nitric oxide and so on the compounds are very important substances we are using various kind of compounds in our daily life the elixir of life that is the water is the major compound responsible for the evolution of life dear students till 18th century atom was indivisible particle the research in the field of science and technology revealed that atoms can be divisible into subatomic particles then what are the subatomic particles you can remember very easily remember p e n pen what do you mean by pen proton electron and neutron you can develop similar mnemonics to remember the things very easily then science will be a game for you who discovered these particles j j thompson conducted cathode ray experiment and discovered the existence of negatively charged particle called an electron electron is the lightest particle present in the atom next one is p proton the existence of proton was given by the experiment conducted by e goldstein e goldstein conducted anode ray or kenol ray experiment later on ernest rutherford and his students conducted experiments and discovered the nucleus further in 1832 james chadwick discovered neutrons now there are three fundamental particles discovered by the scientist electrons are negatively charged protons are positively charged and neutrons are neutral in their charge this world is so colorful so beautiful what made this world so beautiful that is because of the materials formed by these atoms and molecules how the atoms combine to form molecule what make them stay together that is due to electrons electrons are responsible for the formation of innumerable number of compounds in this world when the atom wanted to attain the stable configuration that is in their valence shell they want to attain either duplet or octet configuration while doing so they donate the share or accept the electron by this they form different kinds of chemical bonding what are the different kinds of chemical bonds electrovalent or ionic bond covalent bond coordination bond hydrogen bond these are the major kind of chemical bonds responsible for such a beautiful world